Hello there, and welcome back to my YouTube channel, James here as ever for today's very interesting video all about is the Oxford Brooks BSc degree worth it whilst you're studying towards your ACCA? If this is the first time you've visited my channel before, hello, my name is James. I'm an ACCA qualified member from the UK, and on my channel I help out ACCA students, accounting students, ACCA members, people from the finance profession, the lot, with my experience and insights. And I dedicate all my videos to my lovely subscribers. And today is no difference. As you can see down here, Jahanlak, thank you so much for your comment as well. I hope your senior school is going well and great here you're starting to do and study your ACCA, fantastic stuff. Um, but what you've put on there is I really want you to please make a video on the BSc from Oxford Brooks Bachelor's Honours how I can do that in the upcoming years. I want to become the youngest ACCA in the world. Well, you how like, gosh, remember me? If you do become the, the youngest, give me a shout out. But more than happy to help because in today's video, I'm gonna walk and talk you through the pros and cons of actually doing the Oxford Brooks BSc degree alongside studying for your ACCA. And for those of you who aren't aware of what it is, it's a, it's a qualification in applied accounting whilst you work towards qualifying as ACCA that you can obtain a BSc honours degree. As ever, it's critical and there is going to be criteria for you to check to see if you are actually eligible to do that alongside your ACCA because there are some sort of little logistics on it. But have no fear, do not worry. If you check out this video up above here, that is going to take you through all of the key aspects. I've done your video on it, so I've done all the donkey work for you. But in this video, as I said, I'll be running through the pros and cons, in my opinion, from someone who has qualified as an ACCA member, and along with my final opinion at the end of the video, actually what I would recommend to do. So make sure you hang around to the end. I'll be as clear and concise as I can. Make sure you've got a pen and paper at the ready, and it's all to help you out. So make sure you give the video a massive like and thumbs up, and be sure to share this with any of your friends and study buddies who this could help out. So I think we should start off with some of the pros. And first of all, obviously we're talking about Oxford Brooks here. And this is, first of all, an internationally recognized undergraduate degree. So just for the record on here, the Oxford Brooks was actually ranked in the top 50 universities in the UK by the Complete University Guide in 2021. So it's of a really high standard university and prestige for the certificate you'll be receiving. You'll also, because you've actually done a degree with them, you'll be actually part of their alumni network, which will actually benefit you having access to all their career services, all of their other aspects within the university that they offer to their graduates. So usually after when you've graduated, you can still keep in contact and use some of the resources. You'll, you'll also have a student account to get benefits from that. So there are plenty of perks for actually doing it. The other key thing is you don't actually need to go to the university or to actually sign up to a university degree as you usually would, which would incur student debts. And it will actually add value to your CV that you will have that actual undergraduate degree that you can add onto your CV, onto your LinkedIn. And when you go to future employers, that'll be a big tick in the box that will get your foot in the door to be sat at that interview. And when you complete this actual degree, you'll be also invited to Oxford Brookes University for the graduation. I mean, that sounds pretty nice to me, doesn't it, as well? Um, but if you're maybe not from the UK, there are other regional centres near to you, and the current ones that are offered are also Dubai and Malaysia. So if anyone from Oxford Brookes would like me to come and do a, a guest talk at any of those, you've got my details. Just hit the subscribe button below, leave me a comment, I'll be there for you. Don't worry about that. But that was the first real key thing there, an internationally recognised undergraduate degree. Now, secondly, the second pro that, I've, um, from my opinion, I'd have down is the reduced costs on here. But let's just be clear, okay? Let's go through the costs of actually to complete the Oxford Brooks BSc. And there are only two that I can see from my research online. The first one is an actual fee of £455 was the amount, and well, shall I say, is the amount in 2021 when this is being recorded, to be paid when you submit your research and analysis project. If you're, un if you're unaware of what that actual project is, I've put all my videos for Oxford Brooks and the degree on my YouTube channel, so be sure to go and check that out after this video. Then the other cost on top of that is being an actual mentor, or actually finding your mentor. 
And this is where you'll have a minimum of three meetings with your mentor who will guide you through the process to actually complete the reports and the actual projects. There's no sort of set amount that could be charged by the mentor or you'd agree a fee. Some mentors I've seen online have actually done it um, voluntarily as well, which is very noble of them. Uh, there is a list online that you can go on to Oxford Brooks website to go and check them out, but it's just a cost that there is no specific amount. So it's the £455 plus the actual mentor's fee on that. The other nice thing is there are also bursaries available for students in difficult financial circumstances that you can actually apply for. So that's really sweet that you can actually claim that money back and still complete the degree. This is also versus the sort of usual uh, UK university route um, of going down the sort of standard, which in 2021 is £9,000 per year for three years to complete your university degree. So you can see the balance on here of the £455 and the mentoring versus the 9,000 over three years as well. This also means from a, a UK perspective that you'll have actually no student loan deductions taken from your payslip if you decide to work in the UK. Versus you just have to make that one-off payment, £455 plus your cost for your mentor on there. And you may even be able to get the cost covered in an actual study contract for this. So if you're working for an employer, you want to go through and complete this, actually get this put into your study contract. And if you don't know what a study contract is, I'd highly recommend you go and check out this video after watching this one, of course, as well. It will take you through all the nuts and bolts that you need to be aware of to actually get this paid for yourself. Again, all on the actual channel. You can actually do yourself a cost benefit analysis for your own scenario on there. So feel free to get the management accounting books out as ever. I'm sure they'll be sat right next to your desk. But that is one of the fundamental things from an actual cost saving basis for my pro number two on there, along with those other good resources to go and check out after this. Thirdly, and of course, because you're doing an undergraduate degree, is developing new skills. So everything from researching the actual company report, referencing credible resources, applying your actual accounting knowledge academically now, and it's gonna help develop you professionally. It's gonna put you out your comfort zone. The report and reflection aspect of the assessments will help you to actually challenge your thought process as well. So I've done other videos on the channel going into this in a bit more detail. So go and check that out, what you would actually have to do to actually complete this degree which you can actually apply, for, uh, actually apply, coming back onto the actual processes of completing the degree, back into your day-to-day -day role within the workplace and also in your life as well. It's really, really helpful. There are lots of real sort of transferable skills that from doing this, you're gonna benefit from. And it will help you develop your writing and critical skills, how to actually articulate yourself because you're gonna to have to be challenging the criteria. You're gonna have a, a marked piece of work by the Oxford, Oxford Brooks team. And all in all, it's a huge positive for yourself as a person to actually enhance your career prospects as well because having that undergraduate degree is gonna be a big tick in the box and could open up a new sort of uh, avenue of a different career that you may be wanting to go to. And what I tend to find with a lot of ACCA members and students, they're always really interested in actually challenging themselves, growing further on, and this could be that stepping stone that maybe in the future, you may want to consider doing a master's on top of it or an MBA. So it will just give you that little feel for, did I actually like the process and would I want to go into anything in the future as well? So that's number three on there, really developing yourself and adding those key skills to your armory. We have to though come on to some cons on here. Now, the first one on here is the time and effort. So don't get me wrong on this, it's gonna take hard work to complete and there it will be a shake up compared to the sort of usual tuition revision, trying to pass the exams that you and I were used to from going through the usual ACCA exam process you're probably going to be putting yourself out of your comfort zone as we touched on above because the skills are just unfamiliar to you and it's not the usual sort of calculations you have to go through from all the sort of foundation and applied skills papers. So from F1 all the way up to F9 doing financial management. So to actually do the degree, you have to have completed all of them. And again, that's in the other video on the channel. So if you want more details on that, check it out after this. But you've gone through, as I said, all of that process of 
um, calculation, showing workings, exam preparation, to now saying, well, you've got a seven and a half thousand word research report as part of your project, which is probably going to be the longest piece of work you've written in a long, long time. And let, let me just get the record straight if I was in your position, it's going to be tough. That's the key thing. But this is why you actually have a mentor in place, that you have those meetings set up on a month by month basis to actually guide you through the process. And I think it's a really good way to combat this, um, to actually say to yourself, well, look, these are gonna be the challenges, but I've got someone there in my corner to actually help me through and walk and talk it through with me. So that's really um, actual con number one. It's gonna be time and effort to actually do this. And coming on to con number two now, which I can't think of any more cons on this, really. So in other words, these are my complete honest thoughts and th this video is not aff affiliated or associated with, with ACCA or Oxford Brooks or anything like that. This is my opinion of James Wright, ACCA qualified member on here. So overall, from just my honest opinion, if I was eligible to actually complete the Oxford Brooks degree, then yes, 100%, I would make the time to complete this. But then you've got to come up with the best strategy to actually do that, to one, get the most benefit out of it, and then also not to actually completely drain yourself down. So what I would do, if I was in your situation, would, would be I'd actually probably take a three to six study month, uh, a three to six month gap from studying, um, obviously pending what your actual employer would allow if you're on a study contract, this will give me the actual benefit of actually recharging my studying batteries, as I like to say, after all those applied skills papers from F1 to F9. And what it would mean is I could really engage with the actual project and learning. And the reason why I say this is because I currently work in academia as it stands at the time of this recording on here. It really comes down to in terms with writing academically to get the most out of the project versus completing it for the sake of it. So in other words, what I'm trying to get at there is there'll be lots of ACCA students who just want the tick in the box to actually gain the undergraduate degree, which brilliant, okay, that's what you're doing it for. But to get the most out of the project, to apply yourself most effectively, getting used to writing academically, not rushing it through, late nights, lots of stress, and to get the most out of the project and the Oxford Brooks team and your mentor, well then that really comes down to, right, let's set aside some time. It's really gonna help me out. And this is what I would say to sort of future employers as well, because if I read it on someone's CV that they've completed their BSc, I'd want to know the ins and outs and the details. And I think it would really show up at an interview that someone who's just sort of rushed it through versus someone who's really got into detail, engaged and engrossed himself in the project will really shine through. So taking that three to six month break from your studying to focus in on the actual BSc itself. They have two sittings throughout the year that you can actually apply and go through the process. So it does fit in with the examinations. And I think it, it provides ACCA students with a real opportunity, as we said, to enhance that CV and resume to be on a level par, really, with someone else who's got an undergraduate degree that you may not have been able to get in for that particular role in the past. And this now being part of the Oxford Brooks alumni by gaining their uh, honorary degree in collaboration and in partnership with ACCA, then that is definitely going to help you out. And it's really gonna only add value. It depends how much you really want it and then how much you're gonna apply yourself to it. So coming back to what we we're saying at the start of the video, in my opinion, it actually gets a massive thumbs up from me, the Oxford Brooks degree and collaboration and partnership with ACCA. And I hope the video has too. So if you've enjoyed it with the insights, the pros and cons in my opinion, be sure to give it a massive like and thumbs up below so that more accounting students, ACCA students can see this video and benefit from it as well. If you know anyone else who's considering doing the Oxford Brooks, uh, degree, be sure to share this with them and make sure you subscribe at the bottom so you get access to all my free materials that could help you out passing that next exam or to enhance your career. All from my experience and as you know from today, completely honest on that. Well, the final thing I can say is best of luck with your accounting journey. And if you are doing the Oxford Brooks degree, good luck with the submissions as well. You have got this. What I've done as a final, final treat at the end of this video 
is I've left you a couple of videos at the end here. If you click one of them, they are definitely going to help, and I'll see you on the other side for another helpful video. But, as always on that bombshell, I'll see you next time. Cheers!